IMF warns war and protectionism to hurt the world economy. The world's central banks need to focus more on supporting economic growth, especially in those countries where inflation is no longer the problem it was, the International Monetary Fund urged on Tuesday. In a new edition of its World Economic Outlook, the fund welcomed the return of inflation to more moderate levels, but warned that escalation in regional conflicts and the rise in protectionism are posing big risks to global economy that is struggling to generate momentum. We think the risks are tied, uh, tilted to the downside, said IMF Deputy Director of Research Petya Koeva Brooks, flagging that the fund's outlook has darkened in the six months since the last WEO update. As in April, it still sees the world economy growing 3.2% this year, but it warned that various factors such as lackluster productivity growth are set to stop it improving much in the coming years. For 2025, it trimmed its forecast to 3.2% from 3.3% in April. We have three main policy recommendations, Koeva Brooks said, highlighting that the first is for central banks to pivot towards providing more support to activity where inflation is under control. By contrast, she added that governments should tighten fiscal policy to draw a line under the emergency measure of the pandemic years, as well as enacting implement, uh, implement structural reforms to boost productivity and increase the supply of labor. It predicted that the Eurozone will grow by only 0.8% this year, while the U.S., which has fared better on productivity and labor supply in recent years, will grow 2.8%. However, it expects an acceleration in the Eurozone to 1.1%, and a slowdown to 2.2% in the U.S. next year. The fund also expects a marked slowdown in China, despite recent efforts by Beijing to prop up the economy. It sees growth of only 4.8% this year, short of the official 5% target, slowing to 4.5% in 2025. This is from Politico, and it's on DNYUZ. Please leave your comments. Thank you for your support. Please support my Patreon account. The daily posts are five videos daily and they are totally different from what I have on my YouTube channel. Thank you so much for your support and that you find all my content so interesting. You'll find the Patreon account details in the description box below.